We have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> Instructions are nearby. Hi everyone, it's David Open Up Farm. I have something exciting to share for you. Monique and I have never had Chinese hot pot before and we can't really get it at a restaurant, so we decided to try cooking it ourselves. Um, it kind of came about because I subscribed to a channel named Souped Up Recipes and uh, the owner, Mandy, uh, just did a, a recipe the other day about Chinese hot pot. So I'm definitely going to link that down below. We're not going to give the actual uh, ingredient quantities and so forth because it is her recipe and I really uh, suggest you check her out. Uh, she makes all sorts of great things and uh, it's as good or better than anything I've ever had at a restaurant. So let's get to it. All right, so tell me what we got going on over here. It is a cinnamon stick, bay leaf, ginger, scallions, and garlic, onion, ginger oil, stir fry oil, and some diced fresh tomato cooking down. Okay, now some green onions and some homemade chicken stock. This is um, black wood fungus mushrooms and they're dried. Yeah, do you have some? Um, yeah. So here's the front, black fungus. There you go, so it's a crusty looking thing. So now I'm going to bring it to a boil and then turn it down low to a simmer and then I'm just going to let it simmer for like half hour, 45 minutes. All right, we need some sort of hot container on the table to have our hot pot on and you know what? We're going full on homestead redneck. Cleaning, up, <laughs> cleaning this sucker up. We'll be back. Oh, so we're taking the goodies out. Blend it up. What's going to happen with this stuff? Um, this is going to be discarded. Okay. This is going to go back in. And, okay. Um, and I'm just separating them in the dish because I didn't think about this in advance. I should have just tied some up in muslin, the stuff I wanted out, but... Easy, easy enough. Whatever. Yeah. Okay, she sliced them over here. Tell, me, tell us, well, we had some additives here. Baby potatoes cut in half, baby carrots cut in half, uh, corn. And shiitake mushrooms. Ooh. We split up. I've got my little cutting station over here that I need to rinse. But anyways, got some onions. I got some beef. Got some shrimp, which I didn't cut. Got some scallops. Also didn't cut. No, these are actually cucumbers for our artichoke dip. Oh, so don't even look at those. <laughs> yeah. Fresh shiitakes. Baby buttons. Just baby buttons. Zucchini. These are fresh shita shiitakes that are prepped already and cut up. Soon to be coming. This will be not a cabbage. Oh. Okay, everybody. Here's the final broth. It's ready to go. It's been simmering for about an hour or so, and it is looking just fantastic. And over here, I have myself a little package of noodles. Oh, I have this hiding, hiding this from the cats. Monique has herself a package of noodles. We have two places where we're going to keep our broth hot and we're going to add to it. Now, I like seafood a lot, so I'm going to have shrimp and scallops, which I got over here, and I'm going to add them to my container, which she thinks is foul gross stuff. So we're going to, we're going to separate our two pots so she doesn't have to have my disgusting seafood. But we got ginger, shallots, peppers, cabbage, zucchini, got all sorts of mushrooms, beef, pork scallops, shrimp. So, all this stuff's gonna start simmering. We're gonna start adding to the pot and uh, start eating. Please notice, carbon monoxide hazard. Never, ever, ever use this in an enclosed place like your car or camper or dining tent room. or your dining room. Like this. So, uh... Disclaimer! Disclaimer. Just saying. Don't do this. But... Okay, there we go. His and hers. Mine will be tainted with disgusting fishy juice, and hers will be pristine. Oh, and now we wait a few. Okay, I got some noodles in there now. We've been snacking for a half hour. 
This broth gets better by the second. Now I got my noodles in there, I'm gonna have some noodles. I mean, that can't be wrong, right? Look at that. And that's empty. And that's empty. And that's empty. We got a little bit of leftovers left for a stir fry tomorrow. But uh, besides that, we call that successful. So what'd you think, everybody? It's really easy to cook, it's really fun, it's very social. I can't wait to have some friends over and uh, give it a try with uh, with some company and get the big, get the big pot going. Uh, obviously, we do need to get a better uh, container to cook with on the table. We need something electric and definitely larger than what we've got. But we just made do with our uh, camp stove for this first try to see how it goes. But uh, I hope you guys like it. Uh, definitely, please check out Souped Up Recipes. It's a great channel. And uh, try something yourself. It's really good. Talk to you soon.